Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to move the fastest speed possible in Rebirth MW3 Warzone in general. Um, and it's a very simple, not complicated at all thing to do. Uh, it's just a lot of people mess it up. It's people I'm spectating, people I'm playing with, people who watch my videos, just anybody, right? They still don't understand this very simple thing that's going to be able to improve your speed a lot. All right, and it's really what I call the tightness of corners. I explained it a lot in my videos in the past, but you want to make sure that you cut each corner super tight, especially when you're running from people, uh, even when you're looting or maybe you're just, I don't know, in the middle of a high kill game, right? You want to cut each corner possible. So I'm going to the other side of the map, right? And I'm choosing this path. I'm cutting this corner tight, cutting the next corner tight like this, next corner tight like that. All right, very, very simple, easy thing to do. And I want you guys to practice that over and over throughout the map so that you get used to doing that. All right, because this is what most people do, right? This sounds like something super easy, something common sense, or like, see, why are you making a video on this? This is, this like, even my mother knows this, right? Well, a lot of people, right, they, they like to do, all right, slide over here, maybe go over here like this, then they don't know where to do, then they maybe grab a few boxes, then go over here, right? here to here over here and on top of just doing like the little extra moves that don't matter they're also moving like to the side and they're not cutting the corner right all right you got to cut it super tight and it's a race when you are in the middle of a game it's a race from one destination to the next destination you should not be pausing in the middle you should not be like killing a team um and then just wandering around doing stuff when you literally it's to get 30 kills right like when i drop 30 kill games um you can see my character is constantly moving it's moving from one area to the next area to the next area cutting the corner super tight over and over and over I, you could watch endless gameplays of me and you see the same time as soon as i kill somebody let's just say i want to um retreat right or i want to change my position if i kill somebody right there this guy's dead right here right i'm gonna cut this corner right cut this corner right here get over here cut this corner like that boom i'm all the way over here that fast that fast no waiting no time wasted uh no anything i just cut the corner super fast uh focused all my movement on going into one specific direction and that's how i was able to get the most speed possible on the opposite side you want to do that over and over all right let's just say i'm pushing the same area right so i go in head glitch kill this guy right here bam i want to go to this spot i can go cut this corner right here and then i'm all the way at this guy flanking him just like that i got there so fast instead of uh you know wasting any of the seconds milliseconds I don't know even a minute if i was doing something else that wasn't productive right if you just push that same area as fast as possible boom you're all the way over there all right so you do not want to waste any time you want to cut the corner super tight and you want to go from point a to point b all right there's no c there's no anything else you want to go from one specific spot to the next specific spot over and over and over and as you really um focus on that and practice doing that over and over you're going to see that your speed is going to improve a lot better it's a very simple and easy thing to do but you got to focus on it and even looking back at your own gameplays right just look at the times you're like all right well i could have got to this spot to the next spot a lot faster but i was either doing something else or i wasn't focused on timing the corners perfectly to where maybe that was a split second i needed to actually get that peeker's advantage on the next person or that was a split second where if i just cut this fast enough the guy in the back wouldn't shoot me and kill me right i would still i would be one shot instead of dead and then i can heal go over here and then pop back out because the time to kill is very fast in this game all right so that's a video <laughs> this is a video that i surprisingly needed to talk about all right um hope you guys understand it if you don't i don't know maybe watch the video again and like i really want to drill this into your brain because this is a very important thing that's very simple to do um and i really hope that it does get you a lot faster in this game because that really pushes me to get a lot of kills that's one of the top things i would say that helps me get those 30 kill games those 40 kill games um definitely what helped me drop my pr 49 all right so hope this helps uh join the discord if you haven't already for any coaching services or just connecting with the community and i am live on twitch uh at twitch.tv slash the underscore fifth underscore seal <coughs>
Stay sharp! 